briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1980, the Arizona Court of Appeals heard the case of Nogales Service Center, NSC, v. Atlantic Richfield Company, ARCO, which focused on whether a company could be held responsible for actions taken by its employees, even if those actions were beyond the scope of their authority. The lawsuit arose when NSC accused ARCO of breaching a contract regarding the construction of a truck stop facility in Nogales, Arizona. NSC claimed that ARCO had promised to provide a $100,000 loan and a discount on diesel fuel if NSC built a motel and restaurant. ARCO denied the discount, leaving NSC unable to compete in the market. In the initial trial, ARCO won the case prompting NSC to appeal on the grounds that the trial court erred in denying certain instructions and in the admission and rejection of evidence. However, the Arizona Court of Appeals upheld the trial court's decision, stating that the requested instruction on ARCO's liability for agreements made by its employees was inappropriate. The court also denied instructions related to restitution of benefits, as it determined that restitution was not a remedy in this case, since the labor and improvements belonged to NSC. The enforceability of any oral agreements between the parties hinged upon whether they could have been performed within one year. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.